Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. I am your host, Greg. Welcome, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and just enjoying this channel because I try to bring out new content each and every week, sometimes each and every day if I'm feeling lucky. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So, First of all, big news from the weekend, Tom Brady decides to unretire. Now, how many people saw this coming? Probably quite a few. Did I see this coming? I, you know, in the back of my mind, I kind of thought he would, but for the most part, I was hoping he wouldn't. Jealousy, I think, for me, is that was the biggest thing. I just, I, I recognize he's the GOAT. But I am so tired of seeing Tom Brady always in the Super Bowl year in and year out, even though his team didn't make it this year. You know, I, I was just like, I was ready for the new blood to take over the NFL. And he he's had a tremendous run. You know, I figured it was fitting the fact that the Rams kind of bookend Tom Brady's career, right? So Tom Brady's Super Bowl career started, you know, with the Rams Super Bowl victory and ended with the Rams Super Bowl victory. So that being said, I felt, okay, you know, that that is a good omen. Brady's had a good career, time to move on. No, he comes back for a 23rd year. 23 years in the NFL, wow. And speaking of another wow, uh, kind of sort of Redskins related, Kirk Cousins, our favorite quarterback. And there are still certainly Washington fans out there who still love Kirk Cousins and want him back in, in Washington. But I tell you, for a man who hasn't really accomplished a whole lot in the NFL except for maybe padding those stats, he has certainly padded the wallet. He has signed an extension to his contract, $35 million guaranteed next year. Over his course of, of his career so far, he's earned over $235 million, I believe, and most of that has been, like, all guaranteed money. I mean, wow. You know, Kirk Cousins has certainly learned how to play the game, right? Now, I'm not necessarily talking about the game of football. Kirk Cousins, my goodness, boy, you go out and get that green because you you certainly did. I'm not sure if this was a great move by the Vikings or not, but you know, considering the fact that this year is very tough to get a starting quarterback, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to hold on to at least a quarterback like Kirk. Cous Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. I bash on him because you know, well. Hey, maybe I'm I'm a little mad that he left Washington. He it, Washington honestly did the best thing they could at the point. You know, he was going to fleece Washington. He didn't want to stay there anyway. But uh, considering what he's done, you know, in Minnesota and what he has fleeced them for with all of that that contract money, and he hasn't really produced on on the field. There's been no Super Bowls. There's not been a ton of playoff wins. I mean, has he been worth it? Probably not. So, but you go. You go, Kirk Cousins. You're kirking it. You like that? I certainly do. I might need to hit you up for a loan or, or just give me, give me, give me. Now, actually, Washington Commanders related. Tim Settle decides that he's going to sign with the Buffalo Bills. You know, Settle has been a solid player for us. I hate to see Tim Settle leave. You know, Tim Settle has been great. You know, he's one of those guys that certainly comes off the bench and can play well for you, you know. And, and so, I mean, I'm happy to see him go and hopefully actually be a starter in the league. Um, but, you know, he's, he's a depth guy that you're really going to miss. And... I hate to see Tim Settle go. He's put in a lot of good good time here in Washington. Um, but, 
you know, greener pastures, I guess. You know, going to Buffalo, a chance to possibly get a ring, you know, they are definitely ready to make a Super Bowl run. So, um, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm proud of, of Tim Settle. He He's, I don't think he's just going for money. You know, he's definitely going for an opportunity to get a ring. And certainly Buffalo is is, is a lot more ready for a Super Bowl run than what Washington is at this point. Hopefully that will change, but, you know, Tim Settle, we're going to miss you, bud. You know, I, I really hate it to see Tim Settle go. Uh, another guy that certainly we all knew was going to go was Brandon Sheriff. I mean, it was so obvious. Even Ray Charles could have seen this. And Brandon Sheriff, though, one thing that was not obvious, I really honestly would have figured Brandon Sheriff would have signed with a team that would have given him the opportunity or, or at least a chance to, to get a ring. You know, maybe he would have went to, I don't know, maybe he would have joined Trent Williams in San Francisco. Maybe he would have went to Seattle or... Uh, well, you know, I'm saying Seattle right now. I'm not sure if that would be the best place or not. But, um, you know, maybe he would have went to some other place that would give him the opportunity, at least more playoff appearances. He goes to Jacksonville. I mean, right now Jacksonville would not have been my choice unless you just really love the weather. Now, that, that could definitely be the reason why I would want to go to Jacksonville. Otherwise... You know, as far as the franchise, I think that franchise is in kind of disarray right now. So that was clearly going for the the green right there for Brandon Sheriff. He, you know, he's he's pulling the Kirk Cousins there. I'm sure. Uh, I don't know the uh, details of his contract. Haven't really looked it up. Uh, honestly, didn't really care. Uh, I just knew that Brandon Sheriff was not going to stay in Washington, and I think he was just waiting to leave. And certainly that was the case. It was pretty obvious. Uh, I, I'm sure that Cousins probably got in his ear when he was here and said, hey, you know, your first opportunity to leave, go. You know, don't stay in this franchise. Go for the money, get what you can, and that's what he did. So, you know, Brandon Sheriff is gone. No surprise there. Um, he's had some injury issues, but overall, he's a, he's a he is a pro bowl player. So... He is going to be tough to replace. You know, Trent Williams was tough to replace. You know, Leno, I thought, did a, a pretty admirable job. But, you know, it's always tough to replace those Pro Bowl type of players like that. So, you know, Washington has their hands cut out for them. They, they Or has their work cut out for them. They need to make sure that they build up that offensive line. You know, defense, they seem to be pretty good on that defensive line. The offensive line, you need to start looking in that draft to rebuild that line. Uh, you can't you can't lose players. But, you know, at this point, they knew it was coming. They knew that Brandon Sheriff was not going to stay around. So hopefully they have a plan to replace him. Uh, maybe that plan is already on the team. We'll see. But uh, Sarnar, Brandon Sheriff, you know, there goes uh, there goes Brandon Share, and you know the the big news also uh, from from the weekend was Deshaun Watson uh, no criminal charges. I really was uh, honestly I thought he was going to get indict, indicted. Uh, everything pointed to an indictment. A lot of times in this situation, uh, the person does get indicted, but not this time. So that was very good news. For Deshaun Watson now, uh, that doesn't mean that he is out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. You know, he still has legal issues. Uh, he still has to face 2022 20, civil lawsuits, I believe. So he's not out of the woods by a long shot. And the NFL could still decide to suspend him, um, possibly. So, you know, it's not a clear cut. Wow, he is ready to play. Now, he may play this year, but, you know, he, he still has these legal issues to, to figure out, and there could be a suspension down the road. Now, that being said, um, assuming that he is definitely cleared to play, where is he going? 
Now, at one point, Washington fans were kind of dreaming about a scenario where now since we've gotten Carson Wentz, why don't we use him as trade bait? You know, Carson Wentz, uh, you know, two or three first-round draft picks, you know, trade trade him to um, you know, one of these other teams that needs a quarterback. Maybe Seattle, right? Because <laughs> it sounds like Seattle uh, could be in the running for Deshaun Watson, of course, Carolina, and there's been talk of New Orleans, although New Orleans, I think, should probably hold on to to Jameis Winston, honestly. But, um, however, um, you know, the talk of of, um, maybe trading uh, the Texans, uh, trading all that to the Texans and um, acquiring Deshaun Watson, you know, I could kind of see that. You know, that would be, um, that would be an interesting turnaround of, of events, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think that Washington realizes, hey, um, we've already had a lot of issues with sexual harassment cases and stuff like that. Uh, definitely going around investigations with the owner. Why would we bring in a quarterback who's had investigations himself with the same thing? It's bad PR, you know, some people just want to scoff at that. I don't think you can. I don't think you can scoff at the PR and all that stuff. You can say he's innocent. He's not. Oh, I'll... All right, let me back that up. I can't say he's not. Innocent until proven, gu- until proven guilty. All right, my apologies. However, we can't say that he did not commit some crime. We can't say he did. We're just saying his legal issues are not over yet. So is it good PR to bring in a quarterback who has had those issues while your owner has been investigated for the same type of issues? It's probably not a good thing, right? And I think we, in in time, I think we're better off with Carson Wentz. You know, you're bringing in, I think, a, a better character player or get a better character person, honestly, at this point. Um, now, a better pe- player? Probably not. You know, uh, Sean Watson is, is a much better player, obviously. Uh, but Carson Wentz, you know, I think he can be serviceable for us. Um, I keep going back and forth. I'm trying to love this trade. Uh, right now, I'm not loving it, but... Um, uh, you know, I'm not hating it either because I'm starting to see the quarterback um, choices dry up. Um, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo is recovering from shoulder surgery. You don't know how effective he's going to be next year, if he's even going to be ready to play at the beginning of the year. So he was really not going to be a viable choice. Uh, Trubisky going to the Steelers. You know, so... Um, you're really starting to see not a lot of choices left. Deshaun Watson is really the last best choice uh, available for any team. And now you got basically uh, Carolina uh, and New Orleans and Seattle fighting for the, the services of Deshaun Watson. And again, what happens if Deshaun Watson does at some point wind up getting suspended? Um, if something is found out where he is guilty of something, uh, even though it is a civil case, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know what the NFL is going to do, but right now uh, the NFL, I believe, is under, they're kind of in a little bit of hot water with how they have handled sexual harassment stuff, Um, especially around the Washington team. They have not had a good look with this, folks. And so um, how they handle Deshaun Watson and all this, I think, is going to be key as well moving forward. But I think they really honestly, you know, I think they need to to really start cracking down on some of this stuff. But overall, I mean, this is what we have right now. You know, not a lot of, uh, you know, things have been pretty quiet so far in Commander Land. 
Uh, I think certainly we're going to start hearing a little bit more pretty soon. Hopefully, um, you know, we're going to start hearing some uh, rumblings about Zach Ertz. I think that would be um, a great pickup for Washington for Carson Wentz. He, of course, uh, Wentz, that was his favorite target in Philly. If we can land Ertz, uh, knowing, yes, we got John Bates, Logan Thomas. I don't know how healthy, how ready Thomas is going to be at the start of the season. So to bring in Zach Ertz along with um, Logan Thomas and John Bates, to me that's a no-brainer. I think you bring him in, especially knowing you got Carson Wentz. Uh, so I think you do it. Let's see if that happens. Um, but we got to definitely extend um, Terry McLaurin's contract as soon as possible. That has to be the number one priority. We have got to lock up Terry McLaurin, no questions asked. Um, J.D. McKissick, I would love for us to get him locked up as well. He's extremely valuable for us. Um, between him and Antonio Gibson, they're a great one-two punch. So we have got to work on getting J.D. McKissick, I believe. Uh, and if not, honestly, I mean, you know, who's going to be available out there? Um, I know there's been some rumblings about Carolina wanting to trade um, Christian McCaffrey, which I think is just, uh, you know, <laughs> I think it's crazy, honestly. Uh, but, you know, if you're Washington, I would almost consider that. You know, you want to trade Christian McCaffrey. Now, they probably would use him – as trade bait to for Deshaun Watson. Uh, but, you know, I would try everything in my power to get Christian McCaffrey. I mean, are you kidding me? Between Christian McCaffrey and Antonio Gibson on the same team? I mean, holy cow. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome, man. That would be great. Yes, we would continue to be the Washington Panthers, but who cares? McCaffrey is a great, great quarterback quarterback golly it's a great running back he can you know he can catch passes out of the backfield he is solid i mean i don't i'm not sure why carolina would want to get rid of him honestly so yeah guys i mean buckle up because free agency is here it starts i believe tomorrow so you know let's see what happens we you know we have been pretty quiet for the most part, in, in the past few years. So let's see what happens in this free agency. Now that we have traded for Carson Wentz, I wouldn't expect us to make really big splashes, which means we'll probably make a big splash because, you know, opposite of what Greg says, right? <laughs> uh, so I'm not the uh, authoritative uh, speaker on all this, but um, I just think with uh, our cap situation now having to pay Carson Wentz that fully guaranteed what well, was it twenty eight million dollars and a five million dollar signing bonus that's due to him uh, either this week or next week. Uh, we're going to uh, not have as much cap space, but then again, if the Saints can somehow figure out cap space to try to go and get Deshaun Watson, we can figure out how to get the money for some of these guys out there. So. Let's see what happens, but that being said, what do you guys think uh, of what's going on right now? Uh, you know, Settle's gone, Sheriff's gone, um, we need to sign McLaurin, uh, we really need to, to sign McKissick, hopefully, uh, we need to possibly go out and get another receiver, maybe we draft one in, in the, the draft, um, so what do you guys think? What's going on here? What do you think about Tom Brady coming back? <clears throat> yeah, I don't like it either. Anyway, <laughs> guys, I've enjoyed it. Let's uh, hop into the next video starting right now. <laughs>